Alrighty, hello. My name is Gixmergen, and today we'll be looking at the Fino locations for Adeno. For this video, we'll be looking at the more convenient to access locations. So this means we will be uh, looking through this and skipping P2 Laboratory because it's out of the way, as well as Route 18, which is adjacent to P2 Laboratory, therefore also out of the way. If you want, you can check those out. They're over here. Uh, you can access that space by surfing from Route 1. Right over here. But it is a bit of a trek, and not necessarily worth it if you're just looking for the Fino. Additionally, for Autumnal locations, we'll be skipping Route 7. Route 7 is filled with tall grass, and I don't really know what a Fino would look like there, or if they are there, so I'll be admitting this one. So anyway, our first location in Route 1 will be right up here, just where that person is standing with the Snivy behind them. Uh, that is about the location of where the Fina will appear. And the other location will be just up here, in this patch of grass, to the north of where I'm standing now. This one appears right around this location. Moving on to Route 2, you'll want to fly up here to make things a little shorter. The Fina will appear in this patch of grass over here with these ledges next to it. Generally, it is in this upper area here, right about where this person is standing. Our next location will be in the Dream Yard, which is just up here. You'll need cut for this location, so you may want to omit it if you don't have that. The Fiend generally appears in this patch of grass, uh, right about here. Next, we'll be heading to Route 3. There are three patches of grass which generally contain the Fino. This patch of grass generally has the Fino appearing right here. Over here, it can occasionally come up somewhere in this area, right around here. I'm not entirely sure where it appears in this patch of grass, but I have seen it here a couple times. And then... There can be a Fino in this patch of grass down here, usually, right where my cursor is. Next, we'll be heading over to Pinwheel Forest. There are four locations, at least, in Pinwheel Forest. Unfortunately, there will be quite a bit of searching if a Pinwheel Forest Fino is called. However, you can be armed with the knowledge of at least four of them. Uh, the first one being down in this area. There's someone training up here and a trainer that runs back and forth and generally the Fino is right around where I'm standing just under this uh, rock in this pair of rocks uh, and then the next ones are inside of the darker areas of the forest the first one will be right in here next to this stump and mossy rock uh, it appears oh look there's one now Fantastic. Whoops, I uh, <laughs> let my repel expire here. This would be fantastic if it was actually an Audino. Well, we got a Whimsicott. However, that right there is a Fino. When you get a Fino, you want to go to Global. And go ahead and call it out. Alrighty. Moving on from that one, though, I'll be using a super repel here. And look at that. A bunch of people are showing up now that I've called it. <laughs> uh, we'll be wanting to progress this way. Occasionally, there's a Fino in this patch of grass. Not entirely sure where it appears over there, though. Occasionally, there is a Fino that appears in this patch of grass, right around where I'm standing. And those are most of the locations that I know of here. I think there is 
occasionally a grass fiddle that appears over on this side. There's a bunch of grass over here. I haven't actually made it to a fino over here, but as you can see, there is a large amount of grass to be explored. Definitely, if you don't find it in any of the other locations at first, then you'll def you'll want to be checking <laughs> uh, this area here. And as you can see, there is no grass that you can access through surfing here without jumping down the ledge. Uh, so, we'll be moving on from there, though. Alright, the next location we'll be looking for is Route 16, which is just over here, next to Nambasa City. Can't fly in the bridge! Oh boy. <laughs> That's fun. We're heading over this way to get to Route 16. The funeral will appear in this patch of grass. Right here where I'm standing. Our next location will be to the left of Nimbasa. We'll be heading to Route 5. Phenos can appear up in this patch of grass. I am not entirely certain where the Phenos will appear in this grass, but certainly up in this area, as it's pretty much the only grass on Route 5. Unless you're looking over here. Next, we'll be going to the Cold Storage, which is just south of Drist Vale. And now that we're in Nambasa, we'll be heading south to the Cold Storage. Here there is one patch of grass. And the Fino appears just about here where I'm standing. The next location is to the left of Nambasa. It is Route 6. This big patch of grass here, I haven't seen a Fino in, I don't think. Uh, but I think there might be one that appears in this patch. And beyond that, we have the locations over here. This patch of grass can have a Fino in it, right where I'm standing here. And then, this patch of grass just below this little lab here, I uh, can have a pheno on this pile. Beyond this spot, we have this patch of grass, which I do believe I've seen a pheno in. I'm not entirely sure where it was, uh, but definitely recommend checking here if those other spots haven't shown you a pheno. This, I think, can also have a pheno, but I'm not certain. I do not think the dark grass will have Audino in it, but it's here if you want to check it. The final location will be Route 10, just north of Opelousid. The field here is generally in this first patch of grass, just to the north right here. There are other patches of grass where Finos are appearing in this route. Occasionally, you'll see a Fino down in this patch as well. And I'm not certain if Finos will appear in the dark grass to the north here. But alrighty, thank you for watching, and that'll do it for this video. Good luck finding Audino.